um, uh, from the Maliolus. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then three fingers up from Maliolus, too. Okay. Um, and... Are you doing it relative to the injury at all? Nope. Okay. And then, um... I also, you might have noticed, I've recruited my patient to help, but he's helping keep this foot in a 90 degree position. If you allow this to be very pointed and you tape it, then what happens as soon as they flex? Listen. It's like, it's like this soggy, like not supportive tape thing. All right, anybody looking in your book, what's the next step? More tape. More tape. So the next one that we're gonna do, we're gonna do some stirrups. And the way that I like to do these is I like to go from the unaffected to the affected side. So unaffected to affected. So I'm gonna start right over the malleolus, the medial malleolus. Put down here, and I'm not cranking tape on that side because that's not the injured side. And then when I get over here though, I'm gonna crank that and I bring it all the way up to the tape. So the idea is, is that this ligament over here has been extra stretched out. So I am trying to make it um, more supported and less stretchy. Then I'm going to do this two more times, and I'm going to kind of stagger the thing. Tips and tricks with tape, try to keep it flat, <laughs> try to not put huge gaps in there. <clears throat> Cranking that side too now. Cranking this side, yep, so nice on this side, crank on this side. If you, um, if you do leave little gaps, what happens? Hmm? Friction. Friction, blisters, people just end up feeling very uncomfortable. So. Just a nice overlap here. So gentle, gentle, gentle. And then crank that sucker over here. And can you feel that already, that it's pulling a little bit there? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so that's my three stirrups. What's up next? Fingers. J. J's. So we're gonna do some J's. So everyone, so it's like a lowercase J. So J this way. And the way that that's gonna work, I'm gonna start it just like I would start a stirrup. So I'm gonna start in the center. And crank, crank, crank. And then I'm gonna come around the front part of his foot here. Does that make sense? So, how that's a J? Okay. And same thing, I'm gonna do it a couple more times. So I'm gonna do one that's posterior. And I try to cover the tape, like kind of lay the tape over each other every single time because it really helps it to stick better. I know. Well, it's his pain, not my pain. Um, sorry. No. And again, we have some pre wrap somewhere, but I just couldn't find it. Um, posterior. Crank, 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 crank. And if you do find like so here, I'm short a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little extra tape to that. Cause you just if you create a little space, it's just an opportunity for a huge blister. And now you've got a patient with an ankle injury and a huge blister, and they're super uncomfortable. All right, so stirrups and J's. <clears throat> Questions so far? Okay, so the way that we're gonna do, let me have you move this. I, just keep your foot in a nice, um, good spot right. here. But so folks can see, I'm essentially gonna start with an X over the top of the eight, or over the top of the J. So I just want you to kind of, so I'm making an X here. I'm gonna pull down. I'm gonna crank, crank, crank over the side that's hurt. And then I'm gonna go posterior around the back of the Achilles. I'm not going to crank there, because that's not nice. And then I finished right where I started. Does everyone see how that worked? So here, down, crank, 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 around the back, finish where I started, okay? If you are very fancy, you can just keep going. Sometimes I like to just rip it and start over there to let things get flat again. Okay, crank, crank, crank. Gentle on the back. <coughs> Again, finish where I started. And so the landmark that I look for is, am I making an X kind of right over the top of his foot? And starting at an angle is the key for this one, or else you just won't make it. All right. And so the whole thing, everything that I've done is concentrated on supporting this side here. So what I'm gonna do though, I'm all done. So I'm gonna take off this other anchor because that's just leaving spaces for some blisters. You can also do like support things. I'm just gonna cover up a little hole here. 
Okay, over here it looks pretty good. So again, the whole job is that this ligament here is hurt and all the tape is pulled up on that side. Okay, so we don't have to make something that like goes out to here or goes up to here just for the sake of building it. The whole idea is find the ligament that's hurt and support that. Okay? What was the point of that anchor if you take it off? Um, the one that I took off, it, it can be, it's mostly a guide that you don't start doing tape way past here. So the idea with the anchors is that you wouldn't go past that point. <laughs> right. So it's, it's a visual marker of like where my, where my um, tape job should sit. Other questions? You could then clean it up and make it fancy, like trim all these edges. And you don't worry about circumferential taping and adhesion and all that sort of stuff? No, I anticipate like this is going to swell and this tape is compression on that. Um, also, don't be super shy about pulling some good tension on this because these type of tape, they have fabric in them. They've got, there's some cotton in them. So they'll stretch eventually anyway. 